My name is Chu Han Zhang. In this video, we are going to present our work Helping Hand, an object-aware egocentric video recognition model. This is a joint work with Anchorage Gupta and Andrew Zizeman. In this work, we focus on learning bit representations on egocentric videos through vision language pre-training. One common method of doing it is contrastive learning. Our method adds an object grounding objective to the pipeline and train the model to learn better representation at finer grain. Object awareness is important in egocentric videos because videos usually contain crowded background, occlusion, and large motion, where objects are often tiny and blurred. Hence, visual embeddings learned by simple video sentence contrastive learning tends to focus on superior clues and have limited generalization ability. Although predicting object level information in pertraining had been explored in many work before, they rely on either human annotations or object detections of good quality. However, good annotations are not always available when there are only noisy detections. Those models cannot learn much information from them. In this work, we address the challenge and propose a method to induce object awareness in egocentric videos. The model can be plugged into any pertrained model to improve the result and it can learn grounding from noisy bounding boxes from off-the-shelf image detectors without the need of object tracking information and object word correspondence. Our object aware model shows better results on zero-shot video text retrieval, episodic memory benchmarks, and in-contact object grounding. In our architecture, we start from pretend video text encoder from contrastive learning pipeline and keep them frozen. Building on this pipeline, our proposed method adds an additional object aware module to summarize the video level object information. The main part of the module is an object aware decoder. Its input is a set of learnable queries standing for hand object respectively. The queries attends to the visual feature map through cross-attention mechanism in the decoder and output a set of hand and object summary vectors as a result. These summary vectors are used to predict bounding boxes and the alignment of objects and words. Next, we will explain how to supervise these predictions. To predict object locations, we use one single object summary vector to predict the trajectory of one object across the whole video clip. The summary vector is concatenated with a frame index embedding to predict boxes at the corresponding frame. As supervision, we run a hand object detector to provide boxes as pseudo-labels at each frame and use Hungarian matching to match the predictions to labels before applying laws on boxes. Although we did not apply any supervision on ID association between frames, we found that the predicted boxes from the same summary vector learns to focus on the same object because of the natural visual consistency in videos. In addition, we do not penalize the predicted boxes that are not matched to any label, and it allows the model to find missing objects that are not detected. In the semantic head, we align the summary vectors with the nouns in the text. We first find the best match between predicted summary vectors and non-embeddings through Hungarian matching, and then contrast the matched summary vectors against a dictionary of nouns, and chain the vector to be close to its corresponding non-embedding among all the candidates. The final loss is a combination of contrastive loss, bounding box loss, and semantic loss. By training the model in this way, it learns to correct the mistakes in the original detections, here, we show the original detection on the top row and the model prediction on the bottom row. As a result of inducing the object awareness, our model outperforms the previous SOTA model by a large margin in zero-shot video text retrieval. It also achieves better results on episodic memory benchmarks, where the learned representation are used as input to long-term video understanding. We also evaluate the model to ground objects that are in contact with hand in visor dataset. Results show that it provides better grounding than our baseline detector when using the same input resolution. 
Thank you for your attention. For more details, please refer to our paper online.